come on, I can't even get one sentence out. I keep, my brain's going here. Oh, wow, here, here. welcome back to my channel how are you glad to have you back listen just like the title and the thumbnail said we are doing more Dior if you guys have seen my other Dior video I'll leave that link up here everything I bought I loved and I said in that video okay I need to buy some new things some things that I don't have tried some other stuff from Dior because the quality really surprised and impressed me. So your girlfriend went shopping and we have some more Dior today. Okay, let's start first with, I bought another one of their quintets. Bought this beautiful one, because you guys know I love me some blues. And these denim blues, look at that. Perfect, love, love, love. And this is called the Five Couleur. 279 is the color number denim and of course that's exactly what I thought when I saw it I love to just wear jeans and a white t-shirt or a white blouse and that is so perfect they have a beautiful turquoise in here they have two other colors that you know give a little bit of a green nuance so you can play with them a very deep purplish navy blue that's perfect with denim so we're going to be playing with that today and i did not have any dior blushes so i bought some of those i bought two colors now all these things i did open just to make sure they came intact and not broken but i have not stuck any one little finger in there so i have not tried anything yet except for two things but i'll explain that later so the first color i bought was 999 and actually let me look on the box and see if they give the proper color of it or if they just give the number but i remember ordering this because it was a pure red dark red color something i don't have in my collection i do have a pure pure ruby red cream blush from uh anna sweet but i didn't have a powder blush in this color so we got this one and right now it's only showing me on the back color 999 so we're gonna play with that today the other uh, blush color I got is showing oh it's funny look the boxes are different because this one says the name of the color not only the number this is 330 rayonant ray ray rayonant French word I'll put it up here so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about but what was this color? Ah, I remember this one. This was more of a neutral, very peachy color. I love this. It also has the name on the back. So maybe this color 999 is the older packaging because they just have the color number on there. But those are the two blush colors I bought. And then I went ahead and bought a highlighter. Now, I bought the Dior Skin Nude Luminizer in the Nude Glow. The day after I bought this, the new ones came out that come in the packaging, like the bronzers in this uh, quilted full leather packaging. But of course, they were only available in the United States. So just like the bronzers, they had to make it extra scenic route. I don't know if you guys remember in the other video, the bronzers I had to have sent I was able to order in Belgium and had sent to my friend Jill who lives in Belgium and then she sent them to me. So they had to make an extra scenic route sent to my sister in the United States and she sent them to me. So I have those plus some other things I'm gonna unbox for you but let's open up this highlighter first. Like I said, I bought it in the Nude Glow. That looks very gorgeous, very tan looking for the summer and I love this packaging has that quilted look but in the heart silver so we're gonna play with all those to get today okay let's get to unpackaging let's open up this box that my sister sent me with the other highlighters in there and like I said I made sure because I already had the nude glow they repeated a couple of colors but then they had some newer 
colors. So, you see, ah, this is cool. Look at the difference. This is the bronzing package. It has the quilted faux leather, but it's in matte. And look, shiny patent leather is the highlighter, which I find very cool because then you can uh, tell the difference without having to open every one of them. So which one is this one? Uh, this is number three, Pearlescence Glow. Yes, this was the really, really extreme white one I wanted to try. You never know. If it doesn't work on my face, it's always a great highlighter for inner corner highlighting and under the brow. So because it was such a unique color, I at least wanted to get it. And then the other one I think was the more pinky color. Again, beautiful patent leather packaging. And let's open it up. Let's read first what I got. Yes, it's the number six, it looks like. Number six coral glow. Yes, and this was very, very pinky because I tend to also like pinky highlighters. I first discovered that with my uh, Too Faced Diamond Pink. Never thought that would work on my face, but I love it. So let's put this away and let's get into the other package that I got from a Dior France. This was able to be sent to me. Aw, they have one of those old like rubber things or wax things like back in the old days when people used to melt with the candle the wax and put their stamp on it. So this is beautifully packed, beautiful box. And I was watching one of my beloved YouTubers, Miss, oh, look at this. Love always having these actual, come on, I can't even get one sentence out. I keep, my brain's going here. Oh, wow, here, here. But I wanted to show you really quick the back here. I always save these because when I travel, they're always great extra to just throw your makeup in or your jewelry in when you're traveling. So, like I was saying before I, my brain went phew in the other direction, I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, Miss Tara Lynn, and she had been on a girl's trip with her daughter lately, and she had um, decided to buy again the air brushed, or the, what is it called, the air flash um, Dior makeup. And she was just saying how, oh, it was so great during the heat and easy and flawless. And originally she had the wrong color, so that's why she really didn't like it. But then they went into Sephora, she found her matching color, and she was in love with it. And then I thought, Megan, didn't you have that in some version? And I remembered I had the Air Flash Radiant Mist, or Radiance, sorry, Radiance Mist Finishing or Setting Spray. And I love this. I keep it in the drawer. I don't use it that often. I use it more for when I used to go to events or something, you know, a very fancy uh, red carpet or, you know, some kind of, you know, those things. You hate to go to them, but you have to go to them. And uh, something that I just needed to really for, for camera, um, and pictures that my makeup would stay very fresh and flawless and i love this but of course because of our uh friend that starts with the c i really haven't been to any of those events in like a year and a half so i almost forgot that i got had this and i said you know what why don't you try it in the makeup also so i ordered that i wasn't sure on the color so I went with two colors. I ordered three in, because you know your girlfriend's a neutral. And in my beloved Dream Skin Capture, I had the 0.25. And in the Prestige, they didn't have half numbers. And I bought the 0 to 0, which was a little light. But the 0 to 5 fit my skin perfectly. So I bought, I figured, let me try a little bit darker because I was just on a little bit of vacation, did get a little bit sun. Um, and then it seemed like, I think if I remember correctly, I think Tara Lynn said that they, the colors, the spray air, um, um, uh, airbrush radiance did fall a little bit lighter. So I said, let me get the three in and I got the 3.5 in and I figured if 3.5 and it's too dark for me. That's something I can use on my body. If I just need some flawless, beautiful uh, skin on my shoulders, everything, I can just spray that because of course my body is a little bit darker than my face. So we got those two. And then I decided, let me try out a Dior fragrance. So I got the Purple Oud. And um, I love the, um, I don't love 
a lot of floral scents. I floral scents. I love more um, masculine, musk, um, spicy scents. And this did have a lot of undernotes of different kind of uh, uh, spices in it. But the thing that really got me, you guys know I am a purple lover. How often do you find a perfume that's purple? So we're going to, actually I'm spraying this for the first time. Oh yeah, you guys, I like, I like, I like, I like. But I do have another purple perfume. I'm not sure if the perfume, the color is really purple like this one, because this is a clear bottle, so the liquid is purple. I am a big fan of Poco, um, Poco. Paco Rabanne's Ultraviolet, and it it comes in a little round, um, I'll put a picture up here for you, a uh, purple uh, container. So it looks like it's purple, but I'm not sure if the liquid inside is purple, but this is true purple liquid, so. Yeah, you guys, I'm loving this. And I will make sure I leave up here description direct from the Dior website of all the major uh, fragrance notes that are in this because I don't remember everything. But that's gorgeous. And that's going to look gorgeous sitting in my bedroom with all my purple and blue accents. So this beautiful box here, what do they have at the bottom? Oh, it's like, like instead of like uh, packing paper out of plastic that's so bad for the environment, the packing is a little like pillow from uh, Dior. You know what? I'm gonna lay this in the dog's bed. They will have a Dior pillow because it's like it's like cushion. Oh, how cute! Okay, Dior really giving out a lot of money for their packaging. That was gorgeous. So you guys, let's get started. Okay, now like I said, my prestige Dior prestige cushion was a little light, but I found the best trick for it. Where's my mirror? Oh. Okay, um, I found a trick for it, and then I just realized I forgot my sponge. But let's try this with a foundation brush, because another thing I'm gonna be showing you guys new today, I have had this Sonia G Lotus set for now, I don't know, it was out like a month or two ago. Unfortunately, it is sold out on Beautylish, but I'm quite sure it will be coming back. I wanted to try all of these and I have all my similar brushes from her to see how they compare because there were some repeats in here in different sizes. And I did want to try the foundation brush. Now, I am a fan of natural bristle for all brushes, especially foundation. But this one is a combination of synthetic. These are brand new. I'm opening them. And I know you guys don't rip me up in the comments. I know when you get new brushes, it's probably better to clean them once before you use them. I never do. And my skin, my face hasn't melted off yet. Okay, so. Okay, so. Um, we're gonna try this, if I can get the tape off. Doesn't wanna let go here. Five hours later, and we have a foundation brush. So, I have never gone into a cushion container with the brush, but we're gonna try it, because what I've been using this Prestige for is extra just glow on the parts of my face that I want a little bit more glow underneath the dream skin, which is has become my all time favorite. I'm so glad I already have a refill because it's getting to the point I'm really having to push so hard to even get this out. So where I like to put the highlight is a little bit here, under the brow, middle of the face, you know, nose, whatever we do. So let's see how this works. Let's dip in it and see if I can get any on the brush. Hmm, I got some on the brush. And let's just go and give me a little bit of highlight in here. Oh, that brush picked up a lot. Like I said, just where I like. You know what? I think I am going to have to go get my sponge because this has so much on it. I might not be able to use that today. Okay, guys, I apologize. You know me. I always admit I am very chaotic. So let's go in here and just bounce that out. And you'll see how that gives me a little bit more highlight glow here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, then usually I would just go with the sponge and go in with my dream skin. But we're gonna test out this uh, Air Flash. It, the correct full name is Dior Backstage Air Flash Foundation. Okay, we're gonna test and see which ones. Okay, if you guys notice, I have my hair completely pulled back. I didn't want to put on a nice blouse, a lot of may, um, a lot of jewelry, or a nice dress because I'm not sure how sh coordinated I'm gonna be with this. I don't know if there's some kind of learning curve. I shake them up, and I didn't want spraying this so that I get it all in my hair, all over my clothes. So for the chance that that does happen, I have on something. It doesn't matter. So let's test this. Let's go in with the three neutral first and I'm just, let me move this one necklace I have on. I'm gonna test it out here on my chest and see. Oh, I'm scared to push so hard. <laughs> okay. And this is the three and a half in. Okay, can you guys see the difference? I'm gonna let it settle in for a minute. Let's see if I can blend it a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Miss Tara Lynn was correct. The air, I keep forgetting the name. What is it? Air Flash. The Air Flash does fall a little bit lighter than at least my comparison to the two cushions that I have. I find. I mean, I could work with the three in, but I feel like it's a little bit lighter right now because I do have a little bit of tan. I'm gonna go with the three and a half in, but it's good that I have the three in because when winter comes back around or fall and my skin starts to get a little bit lighter, I have something perfect. So make sure I have the right one. And this actually says it's water resistant and 12 hour wear. I hope it's water resistant because it's been so warm in Munich. With all my lights now, I, I, I might just start dripping with sweat and everything running off and let's hope not. So, okay, I'm not sure how to use this. I've seen people spray it on a sponge, then put it on their face and everything. But I'm gonna try with just pure spraying and either going in with the Sonia G foundation brush or with my sponge and see if I can do this. So here goes nothing, guys. Oh, God. Okay, I'm closing my eyes too hard because I'm not getting in there the wrinkles, but that's okay, because I'm gonna go with concealer. Okay, what are we thinking? Okay, I should have put a scarf around my head. Do you guys see all that? Okay, well now I know. It doesn't matter. I'm planning on washing my hair this morning, um, this morning, this evening anyway. But I should have put a scarf around my hair because it does go in your hairline. So if you have blonde hair, like I do, I don't want to show it. But I think that's pretty good. Okay, let's bounce that in a little bit with my sponge. Just make sure it's even. everything <coughs> and now I'm breathing it in okay okay I'm gonna have to try different techniques to use this but spraying it now I see how I'm spraying it and I find it pretty good you see some of it came off on the sponge But it's pretty good. Okay, so that was the three and a half in neutral from the Air Flash Radiance from Dior Backstage. And so far, so far it looks good. So let's go in with my combination of my Forever Skin Correct Dior Concealers. We're gonna go in, I always like to go in with the four in, because it has a tick of peachy just to do a little color correct here. And then I'm gonna go back with the three in 
and I do all of the little bit of lighter highlighting here. Okay, you guys, this blends beautifully over the air flash. Okay, let's move on. I don't know if you guys remember when I bought this Forever Skin Correct um, concealer or all over face correct. I bought three colors. I bought the three in, the four in, and the five in because I was in duty free in Cancun. They were so cheap there. And I've my goal to use this or my plan to use this was as a little bit of a liquid bronzer. So it's the first time I'm gonna try this and let's build this up a little bit. I guess I'm using it more as a contour, as a bronzer. But let's see if maybe I can blend that out with this foundation brush from Sonia G. And the actual name of this is the base brush. Mm, that does blend out very nicely. Not bad, you guys. I like. So that was the five in, in the Forever Skin Correct. Have a sip of wine. Okay, make sure I don't have any creases under the eyes. We're gonna go. Oh, I swear, no creases. That Skin Correct, no creases. Okay, let's try another brush here. Actually. They don't really have a powder brush here. So I'm going to reach for my, um, in her Sky Collection or Sky Face Collection, the Master Face. And we're going to go in with my beloved Dior Forever Cushion Powder. I have it in light. And we're just going to set my face a little bit. Okay, now that we're set, let's go on. Let me go in now with the brush from her out of the Lotus set. This is the detail brush. And I find this as almost a smaller version of the Face Pro. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna go in with this and I'm going to bring out my bronzer a little bit more with the, the Forever Bronzer here. I have it in number six. I usually have been using number five, but because I'm a little bit tanner, I just wanna go in and just go in here and slant. and see if I can just, I already used the cream number five as a bronzer. I just want to add a little bit more. It's a little bit small for the face. Let's go in and contour the nose a little bit with this. Let's see how it works. Let's see if it's a good size for that. You know, I just like to like cut off my nose a little bit, make a little bit of form on the ball of my nose. Okay, this works good for this, but a five for my cheeks is a little small. It would probably be a very good highlighter in here, but I'm gonna reach into my Face Pro and go ahead and get this done a lot quicker. See, covers a lot of more space, and I'm liking this a lot better. Okay, I only need a little bit because like we said, we did a little bit of liquid, but I feel like this went into the nose very well until now. I've always loved to use my uh, Wayne Goss, the um, artistry or the artist in the medium or the small, but this gets in there very good. The bristles are a little stiff because I think this is undyed mixed with dyed goat hair. And I don't find that too bad. So good for details around the nose so far is the, okay, detail. Good for details around the nose. Okay, I have the good name. All right, so let's get in and play with the highlights. Let's go in with the nude first, and let's try the detail and see how it works with the highlight. I usually like a softer brush for my highlight because I don't like it to go on so much. I like to build it up. I don't like when I have that like, ooh, like strobe light highlight, but we're gonna try it because we're here to try everything. So I'm just gonna go on one side and see. 
like works and how his color works. Okay, you guys, this is very, very subtle. I'm loving the glow. And I was really worried this might be too dark for me, but this is very, very subtle and perfect every day. I'm liking it, especially on days when I really don't have any foundation. This is perfect. But let's pop into one of those more wow colors. Let's pop into, from the new highlighter, I definitely want to try the pearlescence. Yes, I want to try this one and see how wow factor this is. So like I said, I like a little bit more softer, flexible brush for my highlight. So let's go in with the soft cheek and let's just come in very delicately on this high space here. Let's see how that works. Okay, now I got a little bit more in there. You can see it. That's very beautiful. But like I said, this is probably a color I would use more in the inner corner of my eye. Right here on the outside, those high points. It's also cool. A little bit on this side. You know, even though this looks like this is gonna be a wild strobe color, it's still subtle. It's something you can build up. I see it, but I have to play with the lights to really see it. But I'm liking it. Let's put a little bit on my nose. And while we add it, because they're so subtle and not so vibrant as I thought, let's go ahead and play with the coral glow. Let's go with the coral glow over um, the nude, what I just did, and see if we can pull that out a little bit more. I'm going in with my mini cheek, also a softer, more flexible. And let's just add it right here in the front because it has that pinky. Maybe we can use this to accent the blush. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> I do love this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wait on this. I'm gonna put on the blush first and then go over the blush with this. I already see that. So what blush are we gonna go with? I think, well, well I only have two blushes and I have two cheeks. So let's go on each side of the cheek. Okay, let's start with the lighter color. This was the, what was this? The Rayonant. We're gonna go in with the new cheek brush in the Lotus set. This one, this is undyed, which is then probably good if you want to use cream cheek colors with this. But we're gonna go in with the Rayonette and let's go on this side. Okay, this is really, for me, a very light neutral color, but I love it. I love it on those Ds that are just like no makeup. You don't wanna just be flashy that blends in very well. And I know when I put on that Cora Glow over this, it's gonna look so awesome. Okay, let me just flip all to the other side and we're gonna go on this side with the more redder color. Remember this color? Now let me go in very delicate with this. Guys, this is also a great color. Let me go ahead and trust the color and build it up a little bit. I can always see how well it's working with that coral glow. Wow, my cheeks. They got, they saying something today. Okay, I can put a little bit more on because you guys know I always do a good buffing at the end. So when something's a little bit too strong, I work this way out. But that is, that's pretty. I can see that on with one of my favorite red lipsticks and just a neutral soft glam eyeshadow that's good look that coral glow is so gorgeous look how it's already coming through so i don't think i need to add any more here but i am going to go back in with this uh little mini cheek and i'm going to add some here over the ray rayonet rayonet just so i can get a little bit more here Oh, and it's very just subtle. 
but it's very pretty. And I'm, I'm seeing in the reflection here, how that pearlescent gives a little bit of blue right here in the corner of my eyes, those highlights. This is gonna be perfect with this denim eyeshadow color. Yay! Okay, I think I got all face things on. We got the blushes, we got the makeup. We got the powder, which you guys already knew. I've got both blushes. I've tried all of the highlighters. Let's get into the eyeshadow. Okay, we're working with the three new eyeshadow brushes here from the Lotus set. And she has a builder, a soft definer, and a worker. Now, even though I wasn't sure, really I didn't need that new cheek brush, and I wasn't sure about the foundation brush, these three brushes in her older collections are like my top favorites. So I mainly bought the set to get extras of these, and I wanna compare with them for you, the soft definer. Now, until now, the definer has been, what definer do I have? I have this one, I have the flat definer here in her face. I love this so much to lay and pack on color in here, especially in the inner corner, especially in the outer corner where you want a very concentrated area that you want to get the color very intense there. And because I have a little bit of hooded eyes, this has always worked wonders for me. But look at this one, see how it's a little bit more rounded? It reminds me a lot of the mini booster, which her mini booster is also one of my favorites, but now it's like a little bit of a smaller version. I'm going to see how much that can pack on, how much that can work in into my crease. So I'm happy about that. And then from her workers, how many workers do I have here? I have the worker pro, which is also one of my favorites It's a little bit round here, but a little bit of flat. And that's when, what I love to work with also. And where's my other worker? Uh, doo -doo -doo. And then I have from the original set, the worker one. It's also a little bit round, but flat. I love just when I'm doing a one whole color with this. This is for me, not being dyed, you can probably work with cream. Eyeshadows is just a one over. Has a similar taper. It's a little bit more pointy here, but just as flat. Maybe it will get a little bit wider once I've washed it, but that was one that I also wanted. How many other workers here do I have? Whoa, um, I have another worker here. I have the soft shader, which also reminds me a lot of the workers, how they worked in here. And then the last one she repeated here was, I think it's a builder, the builder. It's a lot flatter than all my other builders here. Which one? See, so I have the Builder 3, which is a little bit more square, but I love using this. Here is the Builder 2, which is even more flatter. So you're looking at the new Lotus being a little bit in between. So I have different sizes. And I think those are the only builders that I have. Okay, I already showed you the Worker Pro. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you a little bit of comparisons that even though they have the same names or they have their own um, personal characteristic uh, plus that you can work with them and they're still a little bit different than what you have. So I'm very excited working with these and I'm going to do my look with just these three. So let's go in first with the soft definer because it's rounder. I'm gonna try to use this. It's just to lay down my crease. And we're gonna go in with the crease. What, 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 what should I do today? Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I am going to do a halo, which I love. Let me test out this color first on my skin. Okay, I just tested out this middle color, and like I thought, it's not dark enough for my skin to be a um, transition color. So I'm gonna go directly in with this vibrant blue here and make that a transition color. I just wanna lay a little bit something in here so I have a guide. I'm just gonna work that a little bit in the crease. Oh my God, this is so tiny. It's going so perfect into my crease, laying it down just so I can have a line to follow. You guys see that? Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with, from the new 
um, lotus set with the worker and I'm just gonna bust that out a little bit. Staying with that tapered point a little bit in the crease and then we just work it up a little bit. Small circular motions, just working it up. You guys, I feel like I'm sweaty, but I can tell you the makeup is sitting because usually when I sweat, I have a little like sweat pearl drops here on the nose and here I have one or two there, but it's, it's keeping that water resistance up like it promised. Okay, now that I have that a little blended, let me go in now with the builder and I am going to build up a halo with this bottom color here in the inner, the denim in the outer, and then that's going to be in the middle. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a deviation here. So let's start with this beautiful green color here and see if this builds up in the corner. And so far, you guys, color payoff, no fallout intensity. It's the same quality as my other five colors that I had. So I'm really glad that I am collecting more of these Dior. Oh, this is so cool. One thing I love about the workers is you can always rotate and because they're flat, you can keep them right in that crease. And then with the flat side, you can pack on that color. That is wow that's working out okay let me flip off from the other side and like I said I'm gonna go in with this darker denim color here and we're gonna do the outside again just packing it on first and then I can rotate with my finger in that arch of the crease guys okay, so I only had to go into the palette twice and I think I got the intensity I want Again, going in with the worker, and I'm just going to blend everything out. It looks really good. Okay, now I'm going to go in. Unfortunately, I just wanted to use the brushes that I have. I don't have enough of them. I need to go in with my good old flat definer what I love, and we're gonna go in with this top color here, and we're gonna close in the center. And I love this, because you can just pack this on in the middle. Okay, now I can go back in with my builder, and I'm just going to intensify the outer and the inner, and blend everything again. I'm gonna reach into my mini booster so I can just really soften this top head. And while I have the mini booster in the hand, I'm gonna reach into the Perlesque highlighter. And like I said, I believe this is gonna be a beautiful inner eye. And I'm gonna go in with my Wayne Goss. I know I said I was only going to use the Sonia G Lotus, but okay, I do need to uh, reach into my other collection. Um, with the Wayne Goss number five, and I'm going to go in with the, the darkest blue here, and I'm going to do my under eye with that. I'm liking that. I'm gonna reach into my eyeliners here, reach into my Charlotte Tilbury, my blue eyeliner here. I'm gonna go in with the darkest side of this, and this is the super blue matte. Go in with my sponge. You know I hate to pull on my lower eye, and we're just gonna do that inner waterline here. And going back in with my, which one did I use? I think I used the um, Cheek Pro. Going back in with the pearlesque. Okay, guys, what do you think? Okay, love working with these Dior colors and Dior palettes. It's so great. So let me make a break, finish this eye, put them, and we're gonna come back and we're gonna talk about the mascaras because I did order some mascaras from Dior. That's the only thing I've tried out 
nothing else that I touched. This was the first time using everything now with you, the new things. And I'm gonna explain why I already dove into the mascaras after that. Be right back. Okay guys, I am back. I now have two eyes on. But just to let you know, when we did that break, my doorbell rang, I almost forgot my editor, Vincenzo, was coming by. We need to go over a couple of other videos. So it's actually been about one and a half, almost two hours since I was sitting here. And in those two hours, the makeup is sitting great. No oily is coming. I feel like I have nothing on my face and uh, it's great. So I already have had this makeup on for maybe what, almost three hours now and we're looking good. Okay, now we're gonna come to the mascara. Now that's the only thing I've already reached into and tried it out because there was another mascara that I ordered, and actually I think this is the fault of Miss Tara Lynn again, but again, I am so happy that I listened to her and she recommended this mascara. It is the mascara from Victoria Beckham. And one thing I love about this mascara, you guys know, I've always said I am not the, I'm a little clumsy. I'm not the best when it comes on mascara. As I get it all over my face. And even though I love the two mascaras from Pat McGrath, I have always said I wish she would just make the brush a little bit smaller. Look how small this brush is and look how it's curved. This fits into my eye form perfectly. And I don't have super long eyelashes, but I have a lot of them and a lot of thick ones. And they grow from the center corner of my eye all the way to the outside. And it's really hard to get into those center ones because when I get into those in, inner side ones, then I just look like I have a big bushel of caterpillar like eyelashes. And that's what I've always wanted to be able to do and I'm also able to do my bottom lashes. I'm a person that usually doesn't do bottom lashes, not because I don't like it, but because I just, I, I can't get it on without smearing all over my face and then later I it's crumbling or I just leave it out because it's just, at the end it's a mess. And I know that thinner mascara from MAC, but it, it, do, I, I didn't see any difference. But with this one, I do see a difference. This does not flake. I believe it's a tubular mascara because I noticed when I'm taking it off that the pieces that are like on my um, uh, little cotton swab when I'm taking it off with my cleansing balm or cleansing oil, they, they have that little long, you know, cylinder form. Like they go tubular and form around your um, eyelashes. So it's great. But one thing about this, this lengthens very well, but it doesn't give me that volume I want. So the plus is I'm able to get all of my lashes and without messing up my makeup, to get it on, you know, ordinarily, or ordinarily, is that a word? To get it on the, you know, clean. And, um, but I need a little bit more volume. Then I was looking at the different mascaras from Dior. They have a, what they call it, iconic over curl. Not only does it give volume, but it really helps to curl your lashes. I'm not a person that curls my lashes because as soon as I put on mascara, they almost have a natural curl to themselves and I never had a problem that they didn't stay up and curl. But then with it, you can buy Maximizer 3D. It's a primer. So I said, you know what? Let me see if I can get the primer to get the volume and then go in with the Victoria Beckham or after Victoria Beckham to get even more volumizing and curl if I use this. So that's the only reason why I dove into these already because I wanted to find the right combination and play with them to then show you guys. And I think I found it. So let's get started. Of course, we're going to get started with the volumizer. This is a typical primer that is white, but it really helps you separate and volumize your lashes. So let's get this on. Okay, now that I've gotten it on, you see what it looks like how full and long my lashes look. It goes on very easy. While that's drying a little bit, I'm gonna take the time to show you the wand. It's one of those typical, very full, mini, uh, uh, lots of, when I say mini, I don't mean mini as M-I-N-I, -I, mini as M-A-N-Y, very abundant little plastic bristles there. 
and they really get the primer on well on all the lashes, lifts them, volumizes them, lengthens them. And now I'm gonna go in with the Victoria Beckham. And talking about Victoria Beckham, you guys do not forget, we're waiting on 200 subscribers and I'm giving that big Victoria Beckham giveaway with a lot of things that you can do your own choice to decide in the eyeshadow color you want, in the bronzing color you want that fits you. But you know what? I fell in love with this mascara so much that I'm letting you know now that I'm adding this to the giveaway also. So this would be included in the package also. So, and if you don't know what is all included in that giveaway, please have a look at the video and you'll know everything that I will be giving away as soon as we reach 200 subscribers. We're almost there. I think we're about at 160, so we just need a few more. Okay, let's go in here. And I am going to try to show you guys the best I can without covering my eyes. And hopefully I can come in a little bit closer and you guys see with this wand, look how I'm able to go in the inside of my eye and how that forms to your eyelids so perfectly. I can get every little eyelash all the way into the corner here. See how I'm able to just lengthen my lashes? And I was able to do all that without getting it all over my face. And if it was just a regular day, I would be fine with just those two steps, the primer from Christian Dior and the Victoria Beckham. Well, I'm gonna do this eye and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna go in with the other mascara because it does really make a difference. Okay guys, I'm back. I've had my Victoria Beckham on this side now. I went a little bit on the bottom lashes. I figured I didn't have to show you guys that. You know how that works. Now we're going in with the Iconic Overcurl from Dior Show. It is also a curved wand, a little bit uh, wider than the Victoria Beckham, of course, but it's um, um, soft bristles is not the silicone or plastic bristles and you will see how this just feels in the lashes afterwards. Do you guys see that? Do you see how everything is just so dense now? Because I don't always like lighting my eyes and it gives me that darkness around the rim of my eyelashes. It gives me that full filled in look and all the way from my lashes to the inner to the outside and I'm just in love with this combination so let me finish up this eye and I'll be right back with all my comments on everything okay guys I'm back mascara is on and finished only thing I have on my lips is the new Bitten Lip Tint from Victoria Beckham. I ordered this when I ordered the mascara. She's come out with a third color called Amore, and it's just a beautiful neutral color. And yeah, that's all I have on my lips. Buffed out um, a little bit of my highlighter and my blush and everything with my Dior Forever Cushion Powder. Now. My thoughts, let's start with the brushes first. Can never complain with uh, Sonia G. These three eyeshadow brushes, I love. They are a great addition and complement my other favorite brushes from her. I did think I could do all of my eyeshadow with just these three, but I did have to reach in for some other brushes. There's no problem. These worked divine what I used them for. The cheek brush. Gorgeous. Like I said, um, it's nice that it's undyed. You can also then use this with liquid and cream brushes. Blushes. It's always hard when you're saying brushes and blushes in the same sentences. You, this would be great to use also with cream and liquid blushes, this brush, because it is undyed. But I only used powder today and it worked excellent. Um, this detail brush, it was a little small for, um, 
you know, what I would use a slanted brush for, more like in my um, bronzing or the contouring area, but it worked perfectly, detailing out my nose and detailing a little bit of the highlighter here, higher in my eye. So, I mean, I can see this complementing my collection. Now with the foundation, with the foundation brush, I thought I would be able to maybe blend out a little bit of the cushion foundation, but I really need to try this on the day when I just have a liquid foundation or some kind of skin tint that works best with a brush. So I really can't say anything about this. Like I said, unfortunately, the Lotus collection is already sold out. But when it does come back and if you have some of the other Sonia G brushes that I have, like I said, this would be a nice, um, you know, complement to your collection. So let's get started with the Dior stuff. You guys, again, I swear Dior is expensive as H-E-L-L, -L, but I have not regretted one thing that I've bought. This Air Flash spray foundation. Okay, yeah, I got it all in my hair. Next time I'll put some kind of bandana or scarf here to keep it from going in my hair. But like I said, between the first half of this video and the second half was about two hours and I didn't have to do anything in my face. I didn't have to powder, no oil was coming through. Everything was sitting per perfectly. And yeah, I see why Tara, Tara Lynn loves this. This is great. Like I said, it's a little bit of a learning curve. I have to get better at using it not so I'm not messy. Okay, what's messy? It just got a little bit in my hairline. If I had dark hair, you would be able to see that. It's not like it got all over my clothes. Yeah, it got all over my earrings, but you know, putting your earrings and your necklaces after you do, or put your necklaces on after you do your makeup. Um, the blushes, I love both colors all three highlighters even the um the two new ones and then the original here i don't think they changed the formula i don't know they changed the formula this one's called the nude luminizer and this one is called the dior forever i'm not sure if the formula is different if just those extra one or two different shades that they added is what's new or i don't know if this new dior favor um, dior favor dior forever is in like this new collection of this new packaging but it doesn't matter both formulas of the highlighter were excellent even the two newer colors that I thought were gonna be like pop wow, they weren't like that. I was able to build them up. I didn't feel like somebody in space would be able to see my highlight. It was, you know, I was able to control it and get exactly the beautiful highlight that I wanted. And remember I have on three different colors. Um, yeah, you guys know I love the Forever Skin Correct, but this was the first time I tried the five in to blend it out. And probably next time I would just do it with the sponge. I won't do it with the brush, but I still got it evened out where I wanted to contour and it was a great uh, complimentary bronzing slash um, contour then with my regular powder bronzer, which I used in number six today. What else am I forgetting? Yeah, let's get to the eyeshadow. Again, it was gorgeous. I got coverage with just dipping in once or twice. It blended out beautiful. I got the color payoff that what you see in the pan is what on my eye. I had no fallout. It was easy to work with. And um, you guys know I love these iridescent like butterfly wings, um, dragonfly wing colors. And it's actually a halo look I got that I'm loving. Yeah, the only thing that I'm missing in my Dior collection is some lipstick. But like I told you, until we get out of this time of the mask, this era of the mask wearing, I'm not investing in any more lipstick because it just gets smeared all over my face and inside my mask. But as soon as we finally have conquered this problem in the world and we're back to wearing gorgeous lipsticks, I am being very cautious. I did just buy that bundle from uh, Kristin Odette from Chelsea, from Glam Girl Chelsea, but because that was a you know special limited thing, I didn't want to wait and lose out on the chance of getting it. So um, yeah, you guys, this video is 
now slowly come to an end. I thank you again for stopping by and having some fun with me and let me play in some makeup and try some new things. And make sure you subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and give me a thumbs up, hopefully not a thumbs down. But if it is a thumbs down, let me know in the comments what you would like me to do a little better. And I hope to see you again. But one thing before we go, I'm going to use my old air flash. Actually, it doesn't even need it. But just for kicks and giggles, we are going to make this even more airbrushed using... the setting spray and uh, yeah you guys tell me the final looks what do you think oh and don't let me forget my purple oud perfume it's a hit so okay you guys as always yours truly heart making bye